Good morning, Bulldogs, and welcome to the second semester. By popular demand, we are bringing back a fan favorite segment, What's for Lunch? There are a variety of lunch options available through the Commons and Senior Cafe, but we're focusing on the daily special. Today, we have chicken parmesan. Next week, it's chicken and waffles on Tuesday, quesadillas on Wednesday, chicken fried steak on Thursday, and meatball sub sandwiches on Friday. If you're interested in hosting Team Live this semester, fill out the Google form linked below and we'll add you to the schedule. The boosters need your help covering shifts in the concession stands. Check the announcements for their sign-up link and volunteer today. The Talking Bulldogs hosted a tournament right before finals and earned so many top placements. Congratulations to Diane Granados for taking 6th place in pros, Sammy Cruz for 4th in pros and 2nd in dramatic interpretation, Joanna Von Hone for 3rd in radio speaking, and 6th in special occasion speaking, Peyton Evans for 6th in humorous interpretation, Sammy Hernandez for 2nd in special occasion speaking, Frank Nisikowski for 5th in PO, and 6th in oratorical declamation, Maddie Mesmer for 2nd in informative speaking, and 5th in dramatic duet acting, and Allison Bolasse for 5th in dramatic duet interpretation. <laughs> We'd like to send a special shout out to Jackie Bendefeld for receiving tournament champion in humorous interpretation and 2nd in original comedy. Way to go, speech! For athletics, the boys' bowling program took on Stevenson last week and varsity swept the Patriots with high games from Aaron Barnacle, Kyle Hobson, Seth Sider, Chase Zeman, and Austin Merle. The five Bulldogs all broke 600 that night with the high roller being Sider with the massive 684 series. JV came back strong in their third game but fell short. Tom Woodson and Cameron Lazanski helped keep scores up through, throughout the night, and Austin Hunt rolled a career high of 208. Following their Stevenson match, the program competed in the Warren Invite. Varsity had a great day on the lanes and secured a third place finish. Miro was the high roller of the day for Grant and finished fourth overall. Barnacle also cracked the top 10. This week they hosted Vernon Hills for senior night. Varsity dropped game three to the Cougars and fell short by 26 pins in the match. Barnacle was the high roller of the night and had an amazing, with an amazing 696 series. The JV Bulldogs rolled a solid series with good performances from Logan Newf and Zeman. Boys basketball went up against Wakanda for a battle of the Bulldogs and earned a program sweep. Varsity led Wakanda through all four quarters and finished with a winning score of 57 to 52. Sophomores won 48 to 34, freshman A won 54 to 22, and freshman B won 34 to 11. Leading into their holiday weekend, the program competed in the Holiday Hinkle Tournament at Jacobs High School. Varsity opened up their tournament play with a win over the second place team in the Upstate 8 Conference, South Elgin. Our freshman and sophomore levels both ended the tournament 3-1 with the sophomores winning the Consolidation Championship. We'd like to send a special shout out to Braylon Gray for being selected for the all-tournament team. Kicking off 2024, the program went up against Antioch and fell short at the varsity and sophomore levels, but earned wins at the freshman levels. This week they hosted Round Lake and ended the night with a program sweep. Varsity took down the Panthers 77-51, sophomores went 51-21, freshman A went 57-20, and freshman B went 17-8. The varsity girls bowling team competed at the Grays Lake North Invite over break and took home a third place trophy. Savannah Dixon was the individual champion of the day, followed up by her sister Desiree who took 15th. Varsity and JV rolled into the new year with a 9-0 win over Wakanda, holding onto their undefeated NLCC record. After their Bulldog victory, the program hosted their annual invite at Lakes Bowl. Varsity took home second place, Savannah earned first place individually, and Desiree secured second place. Our JV squad also earned second place as a team and had four bowlers placed individually. Kat earned first, Riley took sixth, Kaylin took 7th, and Clay took our ninth. The girls' basketball program hosted their annual holiday tournament and went up against some tough competitors. No matter the opponent, they kept pushing and showed great resilience in every game. We'd like to send a special shout-out to Alyssa Sanquist and Abby Hobbs for being selected for the all-tournament team. Our JV cheerleaders started the new year off with two competitions. After all the white invites, they secured a spot in the top 10. They hit the mat the next day, determined to even do better and earned third place at the Buffalo Grove Invite. The wrestling program had a packed schedule leading into and over winter break. Before finals, the program took out conference opponent Grays Lake Central and then dropped a duel to a 2A powerhouse, IC Prep. The next day, they took a trip to the Russ Herb Invite. With three Bulldogs in the semis and 11 still live in wrestlebacks, they had a lot of momentum going into day two. 
Christian Whitcamp took the top spot for his weight class and earned the Russ Herb Championship title. Eric Rodriguez and Vince Jasinski fell in their final matches to earn runner-up for their respective weight classes. Before spending some time with their families for the holidays, the program hosted the Lafredo Tournament. They dropped a hard-fought duel to DeKalb, but came back with big wins over Crystal Lake South and Lyons Township. With alumni from over 50 years filling the gym to support our Bulldogs, it gave our athletes an extra boost and helped them end the first half of their season positively. Following their home invite, our squad of female wrestlers traveled to Oak Forest and earned some serious hardware. Caden Manis and Evelyn Gonzalez both secured a second place finish and Cassie Graham climbed to the top for a first place finish. The next day, the program was back at it with a double header at Palatine High School. This two-day tournament provided a lot of opportunities for our wrestlers to grow and helped them bring home even more podium wins, including Ian Hernandez, who finished 8th, Kyron Geberit and Casey Gibson in 7th, Tyler Zidon in 6th, Ianni Jasinski in 5th, and Carter Hutchinson in 3rd. Ianni Jasinski joined the girls' squad on day 2 and earned her spot on the top of the podium. Riley O'Grady joined Jasinski on the podium with a 4th place finish. To kick off the new year, our freshman and JV levels hosted a quad and got a clean sweep against Libertyville, Nutrier, and Batavia. Before break ended, they traveled to Wisconsin for the Cheesehead Tournament and were represented on the podium by Rodriguez. The dance program had multiple competitions in one day and they made sure to impress the judges at each venue. JV represented Grant at Huntley in their third place. RC took fourth place at Huntley and then race over for Lakes for all the lights invite where they took fourth again. For those interested in participating in boys track this spring, reach out to Coach Nenny. If you're interested in girls soccer, make sure to join the program for off-season training every Tuesday and Thursday after school. Meet in room 290 and get your spring season started early. Tomorrow, cheer is heading to Grays Lake North for another invite. Wrestling is scheduled for tournaments at St. Patrick's, Woodstock, and Connor. Girls Bowling is going to Liberty Lanes. Boys Bowling is competing at Fairhaven Lanes for regionals. Girls Basketball is competing at home, Grays Lake Central, and Warren. And Boys Basketball is heading to Beaumont Union. On Sunday, Dance is competing at Grays Lake Central. Good luck to all our Bulldogs this weekend. You got this. Grant Community Scholarships are posted and waiting for you to apply. If you are a current senior and interested in applying for these scholarships, join the Community Scholarships Schoology page with the access code posted in the daily announcements. The application deadline for our scholarships is January 31st, 2024 at 11.59 p.m. Reach out to Mrs. Wilhelm or stop by Student Services with any questions. Hey seniors, don't forget to complete your FAFSA and reach out to your counselor if you have any questions. We have a college rep from University of Illinois Springfield coming to campus on January 18th during fourth period. If you're interested in interested in learning more about this college or their program, sign up and score to attend. Before we sign off, don't forget that we are off on Monday for Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Well, well that's all from us this week. week. Have, have a great day, enjoy your long weekend, and remember to keep it red, Bulldogs! Bulldogs.